We all know that Velociraptor was a tiny murder turkey compared to the giant Jurassic Park depiction. In the same year as the first film was released, a giant dromaeosaurid called Utah Raptor was described, lending support to the idea of huge raptors. And now, a fragmentary giant from Uzbekistan may be over twice Utah Raptor's size. The Bisekti Formation represents an Upper Cretaceous environment rich in theropod diversity. With Tyrannosaurids, Alvarezsaurids, Truodontids, Ornithomimids, Therizinosaurs, and even chicken parrots all present together, it was a hotspot for carnivorous dinosaurs experimenting with different niches. And here, the apex predator wasn't a Tyrannosaur, it was a Dromaeosaur. In 2023, Suze, Averinov, and Britt described a pedal phalanx from the Bisekti Formation of Upper Cretaceous Uzbekistan. It's a toe bone from the middle of the foot, and it's enormous at 84.5 millimeters. The corresponding bone in Deinonychus was 49.9 millimeters, 58 to 59 in Ostraraptor, and 56.4 millimeters in Achillobator. A toe bone may not seem like a lot, but phalanx scaling is relatively reliable compared to teeth or maxillae, and there's a strong correlation with phalanx size and body size in Dromaeosaurs. The biggest Dromaeosaurid we know of from good remains is Utahraptor, which graphic double integration puts at 470 kilograms. That's huge, well into average male polar bear territory, but nowhere near as large as this Bisecti giant. Scaling from Ostraraptor yields 947 to 982 kilos, and scaling from Achillobator gets approximately the same range. Over 900 kilograms seems very likely. Paleontologist Nick Longridge stated it to be 7 meters long, compared to Utah Raptor's 5.1 meters. Scaling up Utah Raptor gives us an astonishing 1215 kilograms, well over a ton. That will serve as a good high end estimate. So we have a Dromaeosaurid that was at least 900 kilograms and probably higher, but it wasn't alone. Another Dromaeosaurid, Itamiris, lived in the same environment. It's known from scattered bones, teeth, and a well-preserved brain case, indicating a much smaller animal that would have filled a different niche. It would have hunted the small mammals, lizards, and perhaps juveniles of the ceratopsians and kylosaurs and hadrosaurs that roamed the area, staying out of the way of its massive cousin. The interesting thing about this giant raptor's ecology is that it represents one of the very few times in the fossil record where the apex predator coexisted with a much smaller tyrannosaur. Timurlingia was a lightly built tyrannosaur from the same formation, and it was about 5 meters long as an adult. It also had a preserved brain case that indicated tyrannosaurs were already developing their extraordinary eyesight, smell, and hearing. At least in this environment, however, that wasn't enough to make it top dog. It was about a quarter of the mass of the Bisecti giant and would not have wanted to tangle with it. It's possible that there was also a medium-sized Carcharodontosaur in the area, commonly referred to as Ulubegsaurus, as described in Tanaka et al. 2021. The material is a maxilla, which would belong to a carcrodontosaur between 7 to 8 meters, right in the size range of the huge dromaeosaur. However, the 2023 analysis concluded that the diagnostic characters used to argue that the material belonged to a carcrodontosaur were either taphonomic or shared with dromaeosaurids, and rejected the taxon as a result. It's possible that the maxilla belonged to the Pisecti giant or another raptor species entirely. Given the possibility raised by Mickey Mortimer that the phalanx belonged to a therizinosaur, this would be an alternate support for a gigantic apex dromaeosaur in an environment full of theropod competitors. The apex predator relationship is described as comparable to the Cedar Mountain formation of North America, where the Carcrodontosaurid Seats ruled in an environment where the Tyrannosaur Moros was far from dominant. As a massive dromaeosaur fan, I hope that future studies can shed more light on what may have been the biggest raptor yet discovered. When they do, you'll know where to find them right here on Vividen, Paleontology Evolved. Thanks for watching! Subscribe if you haven't already to keep learning more about the amazing animals that ruled our planet in ancient times. Join the channel to gain loyalty badges, emojis, shoutouts, and other benefits. Joining the Megasauropod level gets you a species profile video of your choice when you sign up, and again for each year you're part of the tier. This video owes a thank you to Alexander Averyanov, who kindly provided me with the full text of their paper, and Brooks Britt, who was quick to answer my questions about the creature. I'm the Vividin, and I'll see you next time.